Hello and let's get into the ingredients. Today we are going to make two different types of bread using two different toppings. This is oats, sesame seed, flax seed, linseed, and I'm going to use some barley. In, some, in one bread we are going to use the oats, the sesame seed, but we're not going to use the barley and the flax seed in one bread. All right? And as we go along, I'm going to explain a little more. So you previously saw the rest, the ingredients and the measurements. So now I am just showing you again. We have all the ingredients in the bowl. What I didn't add in the ingredients is the sugar. So I add like half tablespoon of sugar. Given everything a mix, make sure everything is properly well incorporated. I am using two cups of all-purpose flour and two cups of whole wheat flour because as I said, I'm going to cut this in two and make two bread. All right. So then I'm going to add warm water, warm to the touch. No, you don't want it too hot to kill the yeast. And this is not going to be as, as stiff bread. We're going to make this bread as moist as possible, but it must also be pliable. You must be also be able to, to, to work with the dough, right? It mustn't be too sticky, but it must be soft. Because as you notice, this bread had absolutely no oil in it. And the reason why I didn't put any oil is because we're going to add butter on top of it. So I'm just going to make a little pretty design by just scoring the top of the bread and an egg wash. And we're going to place that over the bread and then add the toppings as you're seeing here. So this is bread one. So in the other bread, as I said, I'm going to add all of the ingredients except the barley and the flaxseed. So this is also coated with the egg wash and then I'm going to add the oats and the sesame seed, not the barley and not the flaxseed. And I'm placing this in the oven for 20 minutes, between 20 to 25 minutes. I place this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees. And it was literally cooked in 20 minutes. Because I preheated from the time I started. So by the time for me to put this bread in the oven, it was ready to go and properly well heated. So my bread didn't need to stay in there long. So this is the end of my bread after the 20 minutes and I'm going to place some butter over them. That's optional but as I said I didn't place any butter in the dough itself so this is why I didn't place any butter because I know I want to add a lot of butter on this bread and this keeps the bread really soft and has a nice buttery taste once you're done so I had some curried okras with one of the bread and with the bread with all the barley and the flaxseed I just toasted toasted the bread with some cheese and some pepper flakes so those are the two different ways I enjoy my two different breads and they all were totally delicious thanks for stopping by